knows that extroverts tend to be in a leisure position than introverts? Let me tell you why introverts can not only be great leaders, but when they can actually perform better than extroverts. Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel, your go-to place for building your dream career and achieving your highest potential. I'm Allie, and I'm extremely excited because today we have another segment of Food for Thought Leader where I discuss an interesting topic in hopes it gives you just a little something to chew on after you leave this video. And for today's video, I thought it would be interesting to continue our topic on introverts and now focus it on introverts as being leaders. And specifically, I'm gonna talk about why we tend to prefer extroverts as leaders, what strengths introverts have that can possibly make them great leaders, and in what circumstances they may be a better leader than extroverts. As for my question of the day, I'm curious to know, who do you prefer? Do you prefer having an introverted or extroverted leader? Make sure you let me know in the comments below. I'm curious about what you think about that. Otherwise, let's get started. In general, why do we prefer extroverts? Well, Extroverts have several qualities that we want to see in a leader. They tend to be more confident, more charismatic. They can just draw people in. They have more energy, they're more outgoing, and the best part is they thrive when they're around people. And research even supports that these are qualities that we want in a leader and that they are effective. Extrovert leaders are more likely to emerge and be perceived as more effective. If you take a look at all of our CEOs today, it's estimated that 60% or more of talk executives are actually extroverts. So extroverts possess amazing qualities that make them effective leaders. And so it really makes you ask yourself, how can introverts ever beat this? Well, introverts possess several characteristics that are essential for being effective in the workplace. First, they tend to be active listeners. They're the ones who actually want to sit down with you and understand exactly what it is that you're saying. Process your ideas and try to see from your perspective what's going on. On top of that, these individuals tend to be more analytical and detail oriented. So when you have a project that's due, they're going to check through everything to make sure it's done properly and make sure everybody did the steps like they're supposed to. And on top of that, and this is a huge bonus, they're more focused on quality, not quantity. And so when we're talking about relationships, they're more focused on developing quality relationships with their coworkers, especially if it's in the case where you're going to be together for a long period of time, they are going to want to develop a solid relationship with you. You're not just another network that they can contact. You're actually someone that they want to be around. And so just from those things alone, introverts have several characteristics that can make them possibly effective leaders. It's just a question of when is the right time to put them in a leadership position? What factors do we need to consider if they're going to be effective, if not more effective than extroverted leaders? What you want to do is you want to make sure that you're matching them with the proper team. You want to look at your team first to determine whether or not they need the characteristics that introverts have. So remember, introverts are active listeners. They love developing quality relationships and they are detail oriented. So you want to see if there are any teams that need these characteristics. So for example, if you have a really outspoken team, you have people who really want to be heard, throw an introverted leader into the mix. They're going to actually take the time to get to know everybody's ideas and pick the one that is the best for the team. Another place that you want to put them is in a project where it requires intense focus or that everything needs to be detailed and in place. Another situation you want to put them in is if it's going to be a team that's going to be together for a long time. In other words, they're not going to disband anytime soon. They like those quality relationships. So if you know that a team's going to be together, or in fact, it's, these team members have been together for a long time, that's when they're going to thrive the most. And on top of that, and this one's really interesting, research has actually found that introverts are the most effective when they're in teams where the members are taking initiative. In other words, they're proactive. A study looked at a pizza chain and found that when the leader was introverted rather than extroverted, and the team consisted of proactive rather than unproactive members, they performed the highest. In other words, they had the most sales compared to any other team. And so what this shows is that 
introverts can be effective leaders. And in fact, they thrive when they have a team who can do the things that they're not good at, which is taking initiative. Introverted leaders don't like approaching people. They like to be by themselves. So you know what? Put them on a proactive team. That's what you want to have anyways in an organization. You want to have proactive employees. Throw an introverted leader into the mix and then beautiful magic is going to happen. So even though extroverts have these qualities that are in high demand, introverts possess these characteristics as well that are just as essential for being successful in the workplace. And so the next time you're considering someone for a leadership position, consider an introvert. All you need to do is just look at the team they're going to be leading and ask yourself, do they complement each other? Do they balance each other out in such a way that they can be productive? And if so, they are going to be unstoppable. You are going to see amazing results and wish you would have had an introverted leader sooner. And so now I'm opening up the stage to you all. What did you think about today's video? Are you pro introvert or pro extrovert leader? I'm curious about what you think. And if you really love the topic of introversion, then you want to make sure you head over to my triple T video where I share my top tips on how to manage introverts, as well as my Q and a, where I talk about how introvert employees can be successful in the workplace. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified of my latest videos. And make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter where I reveal content not shared on my channel. Otherwise, it has been a pleasure talking to you all today. Take it easy, everyone. Bye.